got Sergio in here. Sergio, you there? Yo. All right, hang yeah. on. Uh, we got yep. Ari here. Ari, you there? Yep. All right, yeah. man. We got we got Sergio and Ari. Um, let's keep, let's keep it clean. I, I, let's yo, keep it clean, say, fellas. Let's I keep it clean. Ari, Touch gloves. Ari, let's go. I'm a fan. I listen to you a lot. I yo, I respect your opinion, and I like what you have to say. But to say that I'm delusional, my man. You are now an official Latino. Your name is Ari Waldenado. Cause you wild, bro. You straight wild. Yo, we've done the same thing. I'm 47 years old. I don't know how old you are, but dude, my heartbreak with the Knicks has, I believe, in my mind, gone way longer than yours, bro. I know what a talented player looks like. I know that for 20 years we've done it a certain way. Now that we're doing it the right way, which means losing and building through the draft. We have a talented player, and you complaining. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when was the last time we had a talented player? You know, somebody yeah. that has some potential, other than Porzingis, which we totally screwed up. But still, he's a talented player. You know, nice. for you to say the dude's trash or people are saying trade him, it, it blows my mind because we Knicks fans, we've been used to watching this garbage for over 20 years, and finally you got a decent... All right, I'm not saying he's the next Anthony Davis. I'm not saying... All right, so it's one, it's one game. It is. But the fact of the matter is, when he plays the right way, when he doesn't overextend himself, if we had a point guard that could actually get him the ball in the spot that he needs it to finish, he'd be great. He'd be great. All right, let's but go to Ari. Let's, let's go to Ari, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Ari, wait, wait, Ari, get wait, in wait, here. Wait, get in wait, here with your counter, man. What say you, Ari? All right, well, first of all, thank you, um, Sergio. Uh, I, res I respect that. And I I'm also, likewise, I, you know, I'm not 47. I'm 32. But, um... You know, I was in the garden when Ewing missed the finger roll, so I've had my fair heartbreak as well. You know, everyone handles their pain differently. You know, I've kind of um, transitioned. I've kind of transitioned into the more of like, let's call a spade a spade, keep it a buck a buck. So like, when the card with regards to Julius Randle, um, if you call twenty percent from three, a great player, forty-two percent field goal percentage, um, a negative point two win per shares. Mm. Sub thirteen per. If you're calling that, if you're calling that, you know, a very very talented player, mm. then um, mm. you know, I guess we just have different definitions of talent. If you're talking about R.J. Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, you know, you're talking, you know, even Kevin Knox, I think is, is talented. You know, more, you know, but um, you know, Julius Randle, man. The, listen again, I'm not saying he is, you know, the worst player, but the, what I'm saying about him is in his role. On this team, which is the number one option, he's the worst number one option in basketball. That's the problem with the Knicks. Every game we go, usually the team that has the best player wins, and our best player is usually a fourth or fifth best player on any normal team. And to suggest that he's in the level of Porzingis or Carmelo or anyone like All Star like that is is just ridiculous. Because right. you know he's an average basketball player. In my opinion. All right, Sergio, la 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 last counter for Sergio. <laughs> what do you have to say, what do you have to say about that? Yo, yo, for one, that's a meaningless small sample size. Ooh. Tell me what his numbers were last year over a full season. Today. You're telling me well, his numbers in a brand new game. situation, in a brand new situation with new players around him and in like a 14-game sample size. So I don't think that's fair to Julius. You know what I'm saying? I'm, again, uh, did I say he was Porzingis? No. Did I say he was Car Carmelo Anthony? No. But he is a talented player, regardless of the meaningless small sample size that you're using. You mm. know what I'm saying? The kid is, just by the eye test, other than his turnovers, don't get me wrong, every time he spins that fuck, that spin move, where he, he turns it over, I scream at the TV just like you do. And I can't stand it. His turnovers, I hate him. But you know what? Today is an example of when he plays the way he should play. He is a talented player, and not only that, but he is a tradable asset for this team. Mm. You know, when was the last time the Knicks fans no, played trade almost trade every player on our team? <laughs> is a all right, all, asset. all right, Ari, last, last point. We have point, tradable sorry. pieces that people want. All right, go ahead, Ari. You know, let, last point. Listen, man, I hope I hope he's a tradable asset. You know, I'll trade him for a Snickers bar at this point, personally. Wow. But besides that, um, besides that, listen, I'm not saying. I'm saying he's not a talented player in the role that he's given on this team. Like, yeah, that's why hopefully he is a tradable asset. So a team like the Rockets or a team like, you know, 
the Clippers or something can make a move for him as a third or fourth option on the team, you know, hopefully he's tradable. But, you know, talk about a player. Listen, first of all, the reason why I have a beef, a lot of the reason why I have a beef with Julius Randle is because he shoots threes. He should never be allowed to shoot a three ever. I don't care if he made three today. Shouldn't shoot the three. Should never take the ball. He should never touch the ball outside of the paint. He should never touch the ball outside of the paint. And that's, and that's my opinion. And his defense is, is pretty bad. You know, everyone knocks Isozo for his lack of defense. Julius Randle is just as bad as a defender. If, Ju- if Isozo was getting the amount of shots that Julius Randle was getting, Isozo would be putting up better numbers than Randle, in my opinion. And he's undersized, and, you know, he turns the ball over, plays no defense. He thinks he's Kyle Corver. You know, I'm not a fan. And all right, all right, that's, that's it, opinion. that's it. That's right, it, Tails. Go back to your corner. The your bell corner. is rung. <laughs> Sergio Ari, the first battle of the fans. Who you, uh, who you want? Who won? Everybody throw your winners in the chat. Who won? Was it Sergio? Was it, was it Sergio or was it Ari, man? <laughs> throw your votes in the chat. Oh, my God. I think it was a draw, Tails. It was pretty good. I think it, it was, was a draw. Time. Yeah, I think, I think both... Fighters uh, had valid points. You know, Sergio's point was just, you know, give it time. He, he pointed yeah. to the past history. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the pressure's mounted on Julius right now to beat a guy. Right. And, and you know, Ari, Ari's coming from a high expectation standpoint. Yes. Considering free, you know, Ari's whole thing, he's still got free agency on his back, man. He can't let it go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's, he's, he's judging... Julius from that free agency lens of what we should have got. Yeah, and he's comparing Julius Randall to everybody. You know, all the top free agents and all the number ones, all the number one guys yeah. on every team in the NBA. So yeah. it's like, is, is that fair? I don't know. Is that I, fair? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Is And is, is the sample size that are referring to, is that big enough sample size to compare to the last three years of Julius Randall's career? Is that, is, is that fair too? It's a good point. Completely different situation. It's a completely different situation. He's got to be the guy here. Definitely didn't have to do that right. in 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 uh, New Orleans. Right. And but, but to Ari's point, you know, Randall's defense is still horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought Sergio threw Ari the alley about uh, a trade asset. Yeah, I know Ari was gonna eat that up. You know. At oh the yeah. End. Yeah. That that was a little points off for Sergio. He kind of threw him the alley there. Kind of stuck his chin out. And, you yeah, know, yeah, Ari did. connected. He connected and, on that one. Yeah, and Ari dunked it with the, the Snickers comment. You know? Yeah, he I did. I traded for a pack of Snickers. He, he did. He did. Kind of like, did. yeah, he, he, he took advantage of the turnover yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> and, and And then both fighters start to fight out with giving each other flowers, J. Ellis. What's up with that, man? No, it's the class dog. That's no. I, listen, it's a classic <laughs> tactic, CP. It's the classic tactic, man. It's kind of like throwing a jab before you throw your right hook. You okay, know? okay, okay. You start off the fire with something, slang, and then boom, you hit him with the right hook. You know, that's why I already started off with, the, you know, it's like I was there too, and I've suffered. I yeah, was, yeah, you know, facts. It was. And then he, uh, and then yeah, he hit him with true, the numbers. True, you're right. Negative you're right. You're right. PPR, you know Could what I'm saying? Rock him asleep a little bit. Rock him asleep. Exactly. They're gonna, the the, the the twenty percent for three, the, the high turnover rate, like the, it's, it's it's classic setup, man. It's <laughs> setup for all this time. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Man, what what Sergio you. say? Ari's <laughs> name was Ari Walanda. What he say? His name. Oh was. my God! If we go by the comments, if we just go by the comments, <laughs> I think the chat went for, went for Sergio. My chat went for Sergio, man. Okay, let me see. What's yeah, this? I think my chat went to Sergio, man. So. Are you you gonna start the season off one and zero? Sergio, oh, and, Sergio, oh and one. Sergio. Let's, let's hear from the winner tonight, man. We're gonna go back to Sergio to close the show, man. Sergio, how does it feel to win, man? You, you're the first winner of the Battle of the Fans, man. How does it feel oh, tonight, man? man? You know, it, it hurts me to have to do this impeachment to your boy. The only reason it was close is because he has a built-in audience. You know what I'm saying? I'm a newcomer. <laughs> you know, so he, he said Ari he, got home you know, field advantage you know, to beat the incumbent. You know, but much respect. Ari got the much respect. I understand he's young. He's part of the instant gratification nation generation that wants everything right away. I understand. No doubt, my respect. But the fact of the matter is, my dude, you got talented players on your team. It ain't really working out right now. Yo, you know, smoke some of the devil's lettuce. If you need some, I got some for you. 
And, uh, you know what I'm saying, just chill. It's all good. What, what would you, before you go, be what did you say and, his uh, new name I'm, was? Yo, I'm really happy. This was a lot of fun. Mad respect to Ari, a lot of fun. What'd you, what'd and, you say uh, Ari's new name was, Sergio? It. I didn't expect it to turn into this, but it did, <laughs> and it was all good. Yo, what did you say Ari's new name was? Oh, it's Ari Waldonado, son, because he wild. <laughs> Appreciate it, Sergio. <laughs> Oh, Everybody God. in the chat put Ari Waldonado. That's his oh, new name. God. Oh my God, I'm crying over here, Jails. Uh, I'm crying over here, man. Oh my God, this is like my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my God, oh, my, my eyes, my eyes are watering, bro. I can't, oh, I can't take God. it. Bro. I can't take it. Oh, he called God. him Ari Waldonado because he's wilding right now. Oh, <laughs> Waldonado. Yeah. This might be my favorite episode. <laughs> this might be my favorite episode, though. Like, I think it's like this one and then Alan and then... Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God.